Hello and welcome to today's news bulletin for Biospectrum. Let's have a look at today's headline. Cancer Genetics buys Vivo Farm for $12 million. Chromatic Life Sciences strikes a joint venture deal with Chinese biopharma Shenzhen Royal Asset Management SREA. Guilet Sciences opens a new facility that will manufacture medication for fungal infections and a type of meningitis in HIV patients. Cancer Genetics CGI is buying cancer drug discovery and preclinical services company Vivo Farm for $12 million in cash and shares. The purchase price will include $1.2 million in cash and remaining 90% in shares of CGI common stock based on volume weighted average price over the last 20 business days. The acquisition is expected to strengthen CGI's position as a provider of services for oncology discovery in vivo and in vitro drug development and early phase clinical trials, testing and expand its presence in Europe and Australia. Vivo Farm's specialist expertise spans even oncology models, tumor microenvironment study, specialized pharmacology services and patient-derived xenograph model studies to support basic discovery preclinical and phase 1 trials together with target validation and biomarker analysis. Canada-based Chromatic Life Sciences has signed a deal with Chinese biopharma Shenzhen Royal Asset Management SRAM, licensing rights to three of the fibrosis drugs to a new subsidiary set up together with SRAM. The new venture, which is provisionally known as Chromatic China Co, will license rights to develop for the Chinese market. According to the deal, SRAM will pay $13 million upfront and another $10 million later this year, securing a 17% stake in the venture. A further $10 million in follow-on tranches will boost SRAM's stake in Prometic China Co. to 25%. California-based Guilet Life Sciences plans to open a new 23-acre campus in Lavernia. The facility will manufacture Amphotericin B for fungal infections as well as for a type of meningitis in HIV patients. In addition, the plant will package, label and distribute more than 20 guilet products through the Americas and the Pacific Rim. Included in that list of products is guilet's hepatitis C drugs, Amphotericin B, raked in $356 million in sales last year, an increase of 2% from 2015 but down 10% from 2014. It lost patent protection last year, so it is likely that there will be generics in Europe soon. That's all for today. Thank you. For more videos, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel Biospectrum India.